On June 14, 2017, Grenfell Tower, a 24-story apartment block in West London, caught fire. According to official figures, 72 people died in the blaze. More than nine months since the tragedy, the local community continued to organize in the fight for justice. Our correspondent in London, Pablo Navarrete, has more. On the same night that Grenfell Tower went up in flames, killing at least 72 people, musician and community leader Niles Hailstones was preparing for an event marking 40 years since the release of Marley's Exodus album. He had the keys to Bay 56 in Ackland Village, West London, a short walk away. And the catalyst for us being here now, 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 is actually when Grenfell happened, because we moved into this bay on the 14th of June because donations were being left on the street, they were being stolen and taken out of the area by different bodies, and we decided on the day to use this building to store the donations in and to also be able to assist the community in other ways. The United Nations Special Rapporteur on the Right to Adequate Housing has said the UK government may have failed to comply with its international human rights obligations over the Grenfell Tower fire. More than nine months since the fire, Niles and many others in the community are also very critical of the government's response. But they see hope in how the community has come together. From the 14th of June, a lot of people woke up to what was going on. A lot of people, the majority of people genuinely came out just, you know, or spontaneous to see whatever they could do to help. That initial energy was, a, was an amazing thing, it was a beautiful thing to see. The coming together of the local community in the face of such a brutal tragedy has also encouraged relatives of some of the people who died to demand change. Well, I just ask for people to treat people like human beings and have some compassion and empathy so that this just cover up job and make excuses. I think policies, social policies need to be reviewed. There is widespread frustration and anger amongst the local community towards the British government and local authorities for the way in which they have responded to what people feel was an entirely preventable tragedy. There's a phrase that I think encapsulates what, Gren what led to Grenfell and it's callous indifference. Callous indifference is the way, way that neoliberalism unpeoples individuals uh, and renders them... Uh, a statistic on a spreadsheet at best and something that can be moved, displaced, decanted, moved out of their place of residency. The communities that live in the shadow of Grenfell Tower have shown a commitment to organise and demand answers in the face of a seeming indifference by the UK government and local authorities. Their search for justice and the truth continues. Pablo Navaretti, Telesur, London.